This disease hit the poorest of the poor first, the most vulnerable. Yeah. It's a severe case. Severe. Yeah, it's severe. He's old, can barely speak. Now things start yesterday. See, Matt, yeah, but he, 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 he didn't get better, so um, he brought him. Here. So other other members of the family insist that he has to bring him to the hospital. Okay. He, he heard about that the, the water from the well may not be good, but this is good. this this is the water that they have. This is water that all people in the community drink, so he drinks it. I hope he got there on time. You think he got here in time? Yeah, I think so. How much longer would have been too late for him? Three hours? He might die in a couple of hours if they kept it home. Um, the epidemic started like four weeks ago. We already have like we already have fifty, you know, around fifty thousand cases. We we usually count those who come to the hospital for for health services. It's on it's only twenty twenty thousand. It means like we ha we probably have sixty or seventy thousand people. What about all these people living in villages who died while coming to to the to the um, health centers? What about those who are like moderately sick who don't come to the hospital? We don't count all these people. Personally, I think it's a it's it's a consequences it's consequences of of all these you know, um, um, gaps or missteps that Haiti government have missed over, over, the, over time. Sanitation. Look, if you, if you visit like an open market, you will have a real sense about how the cholera have been spread out so rapidly. Potable water, another major issue. In cities, yeah, they have some kind of potable water. What about villages? They drink like they live nearby the uh, water sources and then they drink like directly from the uh, water sources. They have done something, but not enough. It's not sufficient. What the international community have done, no. Ask people to not drink water from the, from the river, from the Altamont River. But it's what alternative, what, it's not realistic. What, what alternative do you offer to them? We can provide, yeah, aqua tabs, chlorine and everything. But we can provide, you know, we can bring, you know, potable wa uh, water to these people. It's not easy. The, one of the problems with NGOs, sometimes they like do work in an, like in a, you know, enabling environment where they have like everything. But the reality is different. How to reach all these people living so far from like most of the, um, of, of the public goods, of the public services? You have to go to them. The international community need, need to bring like appropriate, you know, support to the government and to the people. Haiti is as another real problem of infrastructure. We have, you know, it's it's like um, let's I would say that it's a it's a common failure, failure of Haitian. It's my failure because I'm Haitian. I do as much as I can from a healthcare perspective, but it's a failure of the international community. Since 1991, for example, even like since Jean Claude Duvalier, we have seen billions from international community. What? Look. How can how can how can how the how the U.S. or Canada can bear a situation like this in Haiti, like one hour and a half from Miami? We are the only country with, you know, living in such condition in the Caribbean. There's something really interesting and scary and uh, and scary with cholera outbreak. For example, like the first cases, you have like a no certain number of cases, and then these cases infect other people. You will wait like in. You know, there's this incubation period mm -hmm. of <laughs> one week to two weeks. You have like another peak in two weeks. It, it claims and then like you stabilize and then you have another peak again. This will be like the, um, the trend for, for months like this.